Whoa, yo, 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 what's up? So, oh shit, you know what? Uh, welcome back to Unity, actually. And this time I am in, a, uh, in my second game that I've been working on. Uh, not as of recently, but I have been working on it for a bit. Um, I, I did a showcase video on my previous game a while ago. And I've <clears throat> uh, not really updated it. But we do have this. And I won't, I won't go too into detail because I want to get this started. Uh, we have a timer and I... The goal of this video is essentially to see how what, what, I can, what I can do in an hour. And show you the struggles of what this entails. So but at the moment I'll get you just settled in. So you know what's up with this game. You spawn into this world that, that is randomly generated. Well, it looks the same. But... Uh, the rooms are gonna be different you, you first get to start a weapon. These are all just placeholders uh, mostly um, But if you go up to something you can press E you can get it you can pick it up and you can shoot And uh, the best weapon right now is definitely the shotgun. So I guess you could say it's basically Fortnite We got a pickup system. We can switch between them But what we got right now is as soon as you enter a room Enemy spawn, the, the, the door is closed. This was actually surprisingly hard to do, from what I remember. Uh, but then we have a shotgun, we can shoot. We can sprint, we can just kill them. There's only two enemies in the game. This guy that shoots, actually there's three, there's a boss also. But for now, we just have this cube rolling around. Um, but yeah, that's the game. Uh, wow. If we go out of full screen, we can fly around in preview. And we can check the map. Oh, and over here, uh, we have a we have the boss. This green platform, this gray platform, is a placeholder for a shop. I'm planning to make it so after you've cleared the enemies, the shop will spawn in the room somehow. Uh, we'll see how I do it. Most rooms um, have like some enemy nodes, I'll call them, where there can be mo most rooms can have a maximum of nine enemies right now. Uh, it'll be random enemies. It's supposed to be. Oh, 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 so don't question the coins. I, I, I just did some funny thing where the, the coins is counting in some other, like, I don't, I don't even know. But anyway, here's the boss. He's a bit different. Uh, he shoots just a big explosion uh, that, like, usually hits you if you're not, like, actively avoiding it. Um, I haven't added a health bar for him yet, but I can probably do that since I have done that before in my other game. Uh, but he has some cool, he just has a little cool animation where he just like a thing is sticking out of him once he shoots. Oh, and we're gonna die. We're almost, we only have two health. But I, I intend on making most of the weapons stronger. I like, I like the strength of the shotgun, it's cool. Oh, I'm dead. You lose your weapons when you die. I don't know, maybe that would be a cool thing. Like if you die, you drop your weapons, but you respawn here and you can come back. I don't know, we'll see what I do. But the weapons are not still here, so we'll just use this gun to finish him off. Is he, how much health does he have? Oh, can he even die? Oh, okay, he is almost dead. Okay, there we go. He's dead. But that's the game so far, and we're gonna try to add some things to it. But before we start a timer, I actually kind of want to plan. Since, since we, I already have a lot of a game, so it won't really be uh, like, see how much I can get in, in one hour done, um, because I, I, I probably couldn't get much done in an hour. But since I already have kind of a game, I want to see what I can do. I mean, probably not much, but who knows? So I, I just want to write some things down. Let's just see what we got. So some of the things I want to do is I want to make the shop. Okay, so first of all, I want to make shop have things you can buy. So this can be guns, upgrades. Uh, upgrades like upgrades for guns or just like general perks so We'll see I'll, I'll probably do the guns and the general perks like just something you can get you can, Just something you can pick up that like, just buffs something and then you just keep stacking it on your guy like most like roguelike games would do uh, So this is the main thing. I, I hopefully when I get done. I would also like maybe like another enemy type Fix stats of guns. This is a little bit smaller, but we can get this done. Uh, I also want to. We could potentially add a new gun, a and or uh, make another type, or, or make another like 
gun of the classes we got. The, the, okay, hopefully we can get some stuff done for this. I don't got no sp specific amount because you can all, you can obviously add a bunch of new guns. I add a new gun can, is always on the table. What should be another thing that we add? Um, we we could do another room type. Maybe that's fun. Just anything new or, or just new things in the room, in in the rooms that can spawn. Uh, this should we should be able to get this done in one hour. And if it take and uh, if we get done with this, then I'll I then I will add more shop upgrades. Like uh, I'll, I'll if I get done with this in one hour, I will add more shop upgrades for guns. See, let's see if we can get it done. Let's let's get it started. Boom, timer is going. First thing. Shop. Okay, so we go to prefabs. I said no. We go. We first go to coin script. I, I wanted to make sure that we got that. Uh, this seems fine. This is not it. So we we, we want the wait, what track coin? Is this it? Fixed coin amount to string. I was messing around with different types of uh, like values, and I guess this X means. Um, Oh, let's just try writing one. See if that. We'll see what that does. So we have one coin. Get the shotgun, and then let's get some coins. Nope. Like, did that give me a coin? Nope. That is not giving me a coin. Let's inspect why it's not worth anything. It has a store coin value of one. Coin amount to string. Coin sum equals coin amount. Amount to string. Like this looks good. This should be fine. I don't see why it's not working. Do I need to put this here? Nope. Okay, so, okay, so it's doing that. All right, I have figured it out. Uh, I think. So in this script, uh, I have this, which basically means that what I'm stringing is in hexadecimal. So I, I I was having some fun with stringing. Oh, game is still playing. That might be bad. <laughs> this should work fine now that we have this. Uh, by having the X there in parentheses or not parentheses, but in uh, quotations, uh, we were stringing in hexadecimal. We should be all good. We start with zero. Okay, it's worth one fifty. It's worth one hundred fifty. But that is good, because that means it has a regular value, because I've set it to coin value 150 in the prefab. So if I set it to 1, there we go. Now we can continue with make shop things have, make shop have things. I've already kind of started this right here, the test shop. These are supposed to randomize what you get. The shotgun. The shotgun is already there. Okay, what if I copy this and then I delete the shotgun? That's right there. Like, shouldn't it, shouldn't it it's still... No, you don't wanna... Don't wanna delete? I guess the shotgun right here is just a placeholder. No, this is a random one. Okay, this is a by random. Okay, so screw this. This right here is a by random. So whenever we go into the game, it's a ran you'll see it's all spawn a random weapon. How random is this? Okay, so from my lack of knowledge, this seems to be hard coded. Because we just have five options and I've just set them in here. I I mean I also haven't really done a, a good like randomization um script yet is that it generates a class so it, it generates like an smg class I don't, I don't know if i will actually be using these uh these classes but i i probably will so wait, why is it buy a sniper twice wait so you said you're saying that this can't even generate a shotgun ever no shotgun no shotgun no shotgun no shot okay that's that's not good we do have game object buy a shotgun so we'll just have to Replace this with by shotgun, I think, and we're good. What this means 
is that I will generate a random number between 0 and 10. Wait, what? 0 and 10? Why 0? Why 10? Okay, but it, it seems to be working, so it's good. We're, we're, we're generating a random number, and if the number is anywhere between uh, point 0.0 and point 0.2, we get a buy pistol. If it's point between point 0.2 and point 0.4, we get an SMG. Uh, but I mean, we kind of want a more advanced randomization, but we'll get that sorted some other day. Right now, we're doing some fairly simple stuff. I just want to get some more content into the game. Right, so this is a shop. And... Okay, it's, it's just a, it's just a block. Okay. Okay, so we'll do this. We'll, we'll make this simple. Uh, this will be a... Purely a gun shop. And later, I plan on having... A perk shop. And then we can probably, like, randomize which types of shop you get. And... It should be great. Just to make it even more simple, I want there to only be two choices. So, we move this to the center. Now, if we test this in the world, first of all, we need to go to our the thing that spawns the shops. Which here we have a shop spawner. Which, what I'm planning on doing is changing also. Uh, we, we're going to do a time check, 40 minutes. But this, what I plan on doing is... Making it so this will also sp uh, spawn a randomizer that will randomize the shops. Like we, we can either get a gun shop, a skill shop, or you know, all that. But for now, we'll just do the gun shop. So we'll replace the shop one spawner with this. Right, this is the thing that spawns the shop, and this spawns that one. Okay. So we want to replace this with that. But now, if we press play, let's look around. Here we go. So over here, we have enemies, but we also have a shop. Uh, now, I, I already kind of have a, like a shop thing working. Oh, um, all right, because they're so close together, we actually buy both. So let's, let's fix that. Let's first check out what we got here, though, because this is... So we might just want to copy this to a, to a degree. Uh, so I think we should actually be... We should actually copy this, and we just rename this. And this will be the first gun shop we make. We'll also remove this text. Actually, no, we 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 can uh, we can keep this. Uh, we'll just put in shop. Actually, to be fair, then, then I kind of want you to be able to buy all the things then. So, buy mid three pick shop. So we have a bool called three pick shop, which, if I'm not mistaken, that should mean that we can only buy one thing we get to pick between three choices yeah and if three pick shop destroy pick shop so we don't want this to be a pick shop uh so i guess we gotta turn it off for each one okay that's kind of weird it, 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 it's fine i'm not gonna mess around too much with the values we just kind of gotta get it working and then we'll ev evolve it at some other point stuff to do later and then in the list of stuff to do later, we can just add, we can just take stuff from that. So this would be like a vol of shop. Bro, what? Oh my god, my head, dude. Oh my god. Um, bruh. Oh, okay. Wait, uh. Okay, wait, uh. Yeah, I won't. Mm, yeah, wait, wait. This, 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 uh, this should work. Okay. All right, all right. I, I, I figured it out. I don't know why. I, I just got stunned. We delete the previews because we're not trying to buy an SMG rocket launcher or a pistol. I think what I do is I just bring in a buy random and I copy the transform. Yeah, so that was mid and so then we then we delete this. Copy and paste. Delete the right one. So great. I'm, I'm not sure if this is gonna work as intended. But we're gonna try this. Okay, so this is okay. We have the platform here. Uh, don't know if this is a good thing, but we can probably work around it for now. And okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. We have the things. And get this. And when we look at it, it says random shotgun class. When we get near, get this. This is a regular shop, so we can buy whatever we want here. So this is great. So yeah, now, now we can just buy and then boom. Yay, great. Now I gotta make the, the shop actually cost money. Um, 
Which I guess as we're spending money to get a random gun, we can like we we, we can make the value be fixed. We'll, we'll we'll set the cost to like four three, three of each of these for now. All right, okay, but we can't. So we can actually afford these this now. So this costs. Okay, so yeah, we can get one of these though, because they're free. Oh, what? Why is there another SMG floating there now? What is it when I? Can I buy it? It spawns another a, a clone. They both work. But I just have two SMGs. Oh, that's because there's two. Oh, okay. Shop. Sure. Why is there? Why, why is there two? What? Now there's one. Uh, okay, that was weird. But my, whilst we're here, we might as well just like SMG. Damage go to one sniper. Sniper damage go to five. Just gets down to three point six. What? Actually, no. Sniper can be six. No, seven. Actually, it has really low fire rate. Uh, pistol can be damaged, damaged be a three. Shotgun is good. Rocket launcher can be four. No, five. Has really low fire rate. Uh, so now, uh, what we can do is. Well, if we ignore these start, oh, okay, it spawns a shop here. Uh, but for now, I want to go into a room with a shop, get some enemies killed, and there we go. And now, since we have coins, we can buy a shotgun. Right now, you can hold uh, as many weapons as I as you want. Maybe I want to change that. Uh, we got some more things to do, you know, buy guns upgrades. We got general perks. Uh, I didn't make a perk, but I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna have time for that. So we're just gonna make it an, another enemy type. We'll just kind of combine the first two enemies. Uh, all right, yeah, so copy this enemy. So it's essentially just like the other enemy, but this one's gonna be, he's gonna be a little slower. So we'll do like a 1.5 move speed. And then we will grab the <clears throat> the cannon from this guy. Actually, it should be fairly simple. We should be able, be able to just copy and then slap it onto here. Then we will also copy the shoot point, the or the, the like turret. Okay, this might be a bit too big, but uh, we don't need to do anything crazy. All right, so we're gonna go into textures. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it's red. Uh, but let's let's do like that red, and then the the gun can be like blue. Uh, so now in this enemy shoot, enemy gun shoot, we want to add the shoot point. Uh, I want to just spawn one in, just to test it. Really? Also, a funny thing when you spawn a thing in this room. Uh, the doors, I'm pretty sure the doors will actually be locked. Yeah, yeah, since we're, we have an enemy in the starting room, there actually is, the doors are locked. Do you shoot? It doesn't seem to be shooting. It is. So why isn't he shooting? This guy works just fine. He shoots fine. I just really want to know why he's not shooting. I mean, he clearly can't see me. But like, if we spawn one of these guys in, look at this. He can shoot. Like, maybe my brain just isn't big enough, but I don't know why it's doing that. Like, why is it just not? Oh, I think I know the issue. I think I know. So in enemy gun shoot, we also have an animator. So what we can do for this actually is, uh, we, we, we can create a bool called can animate and because what, what, what is happening is the script is getting stuck on this animation part and since we're not doing this animation it's like oh uh, we can't keep going so we have a lot of uh, so I, I, I'm just gonna also please, if you want let me know how terrible my script is uh, I, I know I'm, I'm not that made I'm not that good I'm pretty terrible but uh, we're, we're just gonna do we're, we're just gonna check if can animate is true and if can animate is true we can run that which this 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 new guy can't animate we haven't set up an animation for him 
that's just an extra thing I try. I, I just wanted to try out animations and to, to get that on the other guy. We, we can set it so he can't animate. We, we set can animate to false. But on enemy two, we said can animate to true because he can animate. And so now both nope. guys should be shipping. Nope. Nope. No, bro, stop spawning a shop on the. Stop spawning a shop here. I mean, can shoot is false. So that's why it's not shooting. If can. Okay, if can shooting is true, it's shooting. Is can shoot just on by default? No. Can shoot is not on by default. Okay, but what's making shoot true oh has gun oh my god okay dude yeah dude I, as you can tell I, i'm not great so i guess this is if they have a gun so this guy has a gun this is also not like any ai he's just moving towards you but now it should work yeah so he's shooting yes we've already fixed that we've made another enemy type we're, we're, we're running out of time uh, so what we have left is add a new gun or make another gun because it's already existing or another room type or new things in rooms like yeah I, I don't think we're gonna have time for that unfortunately because I kind of wasted yeah we're, we're, yeah we're done oh shit I don't, I don't know if you could hear that but it made some beeping uh, so yeah that's it um I, I didn't get too much done, but this is, uh, we, we got further, you know, we, we, we made progress, we made progress, and yeah, the struggle is real, but if anyone sees this, let me know if I should continue, so I hope you enjoyed, I shall not forget to take care.